I feel like that's hilarious that I'm in here with a grown woman who fine and I'm in here being a kid. Yeah. That's dope to me. It's about being yourself. Some people going to be like, you childish. That's a turn off. It ain't about what they talking about or thinking about. It's about learning how to be yourself through other people. Because all of us is reflections of the sun. Everything is pointing up. Like, oh, man, everything is pointing in the same direction. Life is literally a explanation of what you need to be doing, but everything is distracting you from your life. Your job, your school, your family, your relationships, social media, this show, that show, music, metaverse, everything is a distraction. So you don't pay attention. Don't pay attention to the world. This is the simulation. <laughs> this the game. This is this is it. What is we talking about? What is we talking about? Everything points to the same. If if people just pay attention to their life. The lessons that the people in their life are showing them about themselves, everything is just teaching you about you. Everything is love, even when it's bad, because it's teaching you you need to treat yourself better. You yeah. need to want better for yourself. Yeah, that makes sense, and that's why, like, uh, when you when people ask you observe, or like when I observe and I look at like the people around me and the life situation I've been through. It uh it formed me to who I am, and that's why I form other people into it, who they are, and like you know, and then that's just how the life goes on. And, Everybody uh, there for a reason in the season. Yeah. Because they all a reflection of you. Yeah. The truth is, <laughs> there is no God that's a being. Wait, say that again. You know how they paint God a being? He had a voice, he had a face, and he walked in, God said this, and God said that. The truth is, there's nothing outside of God. God is everything. God works through me and you. Mm -hmm. And I've heard that, too. I've heard that, too. That's what's crazy. Like, I've heard that from Christians. Everything is you, my boy. Yes, so how could you hate yourself? Yeah. How could you be hating? How could you not understand somebody? You've been yeah. un understood. It, it's either a it game with the program or you got to get away because our frequency is not matching. Mm -hmm. It's real simple when we break it down, but we don't overcomplicated everything because everything is simple and complex at the same time. And we don't know. It's like the middle. That's we I need to be in the middle. Because I know I'm not the only one. Like, I know some people... And I know me personally, as I got older, I know we was talking about it, but me growing up as, like, you know, in a Christian household and calling myself a Christian, um, you know, I only seen one point of view. But, like, as you get older, you travel the world, you see other religions and stuff. It's so many things. That can be confusing for a kid growing up from a Christian child, Christian household to going out into the world, seeing so much different things that make sense. But in the Christian, they try to say that, Oh, just believe and don't think about nothing else. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, don't question but, God. And don't then, ask questions. And I know I'm not the only one that feel that way. And I, and I know I feel wrong for that. I feel wrong for that sometimes. And that's I, the point. It's based in you know, guilt. They trying yeah. to make you burn in hell. Burning in hell. Heaven is not a place. Heaven is a state of being. It it's a feeling. Hell is a feeling. They're literally telling you do everything so you don't burn in hell but making you feel guilty about everything so you burning in hell here I, I have thought about that like the amount of times we will have to say uh, like forgive me like that the amount of times you have to say that like, so no, you, it, you, you, because he, you gotta forgive yourself though he, that's what I was saying like me but me growing up and realizing looking past Christianity and like Christians like y'all all sin just as much as anybody else like, just about anybody else. And it's like... what well, It's worse sometimes because they're keeping it in. They're not letting anything out. They're not being themselves. So when they do finally let loose, they go crazy. They be doing all kinds of stuff behind closed doors. But I wanted to speak on how you said there's so many religions, though. Because is a, what is a religion if not a huge cult? 
let's eat the blood. What do you say? Let's drink the blood of Christ and eat the flesh. Let's eat and drink his body. If that ain't the most satanic sounding demonic, I don't know what that is. Let's eat and drink his body. Mm -hmm. It's a cult. It is a cult. It is a cult with truths in it. All religions are cults. It's a culture. It's an idea, a way of thinking that that's what happened. It, it, it went out of control. It's too big now. Back when there were tribes, the tribes would be separate. So you have these separate cultures that would be intertwined. But when you got a whole culture trying to say I'm right and everybody else is wrong, that's like some world domination stuff right there. That's yeah. some brain control, mind washing, mind control, brain washing. <laughs> yeah.